Let's talk about this. This is the Insta360 GO 2, the second ever version of the extremely popular Insta360 GO camera. Insta360 has listened to the feedback of the FPV community, including FPV pilots, and set out to improve on many aspects of the first GO camera. This camera is still a prototype sent to us for testing and review. This is one of three videos we here at Newbie Drone are planning on releasing, detailing everything this camera is and what it can bring to the market. We will be focusing primarily on how it applies to FPV, but most of what I talk about here can be applied to the camera's general usage. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Included in the box of the Go2 is the camera dock with the camera housed inside, an easy clip for mounting the Go2 to things like a hat. Please note that in the retail version, the easy clip will be black, not white. A pivot mount that has a reusable adhesive pad and an articulating camera mount. You can get an action camera mount adapter like this, but it will be sold separately. The Go2 will also include a magnetic pendant that has a strap for putting around your neck. Please note that the dotted oval here on the pendant is where you mount the camera. USB-C cable for charging and connecting to your computer. And of course, documentation. All of the included mounts that are white hold the camera magnetically, where the action camera mount adapter holds the camera by sandwiching it into the mount. I feel like for most drone applications, the action camera mount will be the easiest to implement. Now let's get into the camera and charging dock. The camera dock houses the camera for charging or file transfer. It is held into the dock magnetically, similar to the original Go. The Go 2 does have a lens protector installed that can easily be unscrewed and replaced if it's cracked, scratched, or damaged. Insta360 will be selling freewheel ND filters in the 8, 16, 32, and 64 options. All of them will come in a set and will be available upon the release of the Go 2. You can start and stop recording from the button integrated into the front plate of the camera. This button will make 3D printing mount designs a little more difficult as the button is physical and can be easily pressed. Insta360 has increased the capture resolution slightly from 2720 by 2720 to 2880 by 2880. However, the standard output resolution was increased from 1080p to 1440p, and it's now capable of exporting 30 and 50 frames per second. The Insta360 GO 2 records an MP4 format with an H.264 codec and up to 80 megabits per second. As an FPV pilot, please keep in mind that the Pro Video Mode is the recommended mode for FPV recording. The dock has retractable legs, which enable you to stand the camera on any flat surface. There's also a standard tripod thread mount and a USB-C port. Another great feature of the camera dock is that it connects to the camera wirelessly for remote control of recording. The charging dock has a record and selection button, as well as an LCD screen for changing capture modes and some of the capture settings, such as anti-flicker settings, power timeout, lid actions, recording codec, bitrate, etc. For convenience, the camera connects to the phone wirelessly. Simply open up the dock and the app, hit the camera button, scroll over to the Go and hit connect now. Once connected, you will find all the useful settings laid out simply on the screen and a preview window to make sure your settings are dialed in. Tap the gear icon and you can change modes, resolution, frame rate, and aspect ratio. Tap the camera looking icon to change video settings. One really great feature of the Go 2 is the ability to manually set ISO, shutter, and white balance. The Go 2 has an ISO range of 100 to 3200. Shutter range is from 1 over 30 all the way down to 1 over 8000. You can also change the white balance temperature from auto to between 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 6500 Kelvin. Under photo, you'll find similar settings. Video recording modes include standard stabilized, pro or flow state stabilized, HDR video, slow motion, time lapse, and time shift or hyperlapse. The camera weighs in at 27.76 grams. And with weight of quadcopter designs being so important, this camera can be a great stabilized HD camera addition without impacting the weight as drastically as a GoPro. It offers a max recording time of 15 minutes for stabilized video, 10 minutes for flow state stabilized, and 39 minutes for time shift or time lapse. You can customize the length inside the app. 
The expected battery life with a camera outside the dock should give you about 30 minutes, depending on the mode you're filming in, and up to 100 minutes in the dock for flow state and 150 minutes for time lapse or time shift. For FPV stabilized recording, the maximum recording time is 30 minutes. That's basically the camera's full battery life when not attached to the dock. With the world of FPV steering toward lighter weight builds, focusing on a sub 250 grams, it's great to have a company like Insta360 creating and improving upon lightweight stabilized HD cameras to pair with the ever shrinking quadcopter designs. I hope this video gets you as excited as I am about the camera and what it means for the future of the quadcopter industry. Insta360, Chase Adventure. Thank you for watching.